And good morning, everyone. Welcome to AMHQ Early. I'm meteorologist Jackie Jarris. Astro fans are waking up with a smile this morning. For the first time in the team's history, the Astros are world champions. They held on to beat the LA Dodgers in seven games. So some low clouds and a little misty uh, in the Detroit area right now. There may be some airport delays there today. So make sure you check on those flights, especially this morning as we've got some low ceilings. As we take a look across the Great Lakes and into the Northeast, you can see some spotty showers. And we just kind of have this messy weather pattern. We've got a split flow uh, with our jet stream right now. So storm systems are going to be tracking across the northern tier of the country, bringing these occasional bouts of showers. Hours. Nothing terribly strong or severe at this time, but just some steady rains, enough to kind of make it messy, unfortunately, for your drive into work this morning. As we take a look at the future radar, here you can see the spotty showers will be continuing, so it's going to be kind of hit and miss. Most places, it's not going to be raining every minute of today. It will be most likely across parts of Wisconsin, as well as into Michigan, and then interior parts of the Northeast. And notice that it kind of stops short here, uh, the I-95 corridor. So a warm front is going to be lifting up towards the north, and that's what's going to be bringing those wet weather and conditions throughout the day today. And then the cold front is going to be following back behind it, uh, bringing more rain. And so we'll see this continue kind of planned like every other day kind of thing in terms of wet weather. So here's the forecast for your Friday. Little Rock will see some showers as well as Memphis into Nashville. Across the Ohio River Valley into Pittsburgh, you'll see the occasional showers. And again, maybe a couple sprinkles into places like Washington, D.C. Couldn't rule that out for sure. On Saturday, another system drops on through, and this is going to bring some widespread rain showers and yes, even some snow showers across parts of the upper Midwest. And then the greater concern will come on Sunday where we could potentially see some severe weather in places like Chicago as well as Detroit. Here's the forecast for Chicago. A few showers for today, especially in the afternoon hours. Temperatures right around the 50 degree mark. Notice the temperatures don't fluctuate a lot between today and tomorrow. More rain will be moving in on Saturday. And then as that next storm system comes on through, Sunday could see uh, severe weather as temperatures move well into the 60s. What about you in Nashville? Here's your Nashville forecast. Nice and mild today with temperatures in the lower 70s. Quite a bit of cloud cover though I think you'll be seeing and then showers and thunderstorms will move through Friday and then again into your Friday Eve as I like to call it, right? Only one more early wake up after today for a lot of us and the forecast as we look across the country will show some spotty showers from the Great Lakes down towards the Gulf Coast but again just kind of intermittent spotty stuff. New wet weather will be pushing into the Pacific Northwest with uh, snow levels beginning to drop down. We'll see the snow in the Cascades as well as into uh, the Bitter Roots and into Montana, the Northern Rockies. You'll see that as well. Showers for you in Nashville as well as into Louisville and Indianapolis on your Saturday. But as we head towards Sunday, concerned of the severe weather threat across parts. A look at your weekend in view. And if you take a look across the country today, mostly action from the Great Lakes to the Gulf Coast with some spotty showers here and big storms. Story moving into the Pacific Northwest with a shot of colder air, wetter conditions, and yes, even snow into the higher elevations. The temperatures staying warm across the nation's midsection and all across the east as we head into your Friday as well as into your Saturday. Showers and thunderstorms will be likely again across the lower Great Lakes. Look at the snow moving into the interior parts of the Northwest, and on Sunday, we'll watch for the threat of severe.